I've already filled in my brows and I'm going to prep my eyelids by using Max Paint, Ma Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre using Crown Brushes Blending Brush and I'm going to apply this all over my eyes. Whenever I use Max Paint Pot, I, my eyes don't crease at all. It's amazing and I recommend it to everybody who has oily lids or dry lids even. It works for everyone. Please ignore my eyebrows here. It looks funky today. Um, I recorded the intro and my eyes on a different day. So that's why you see the difference um, on how they kind of look in two different clips. Anyways, I'm going to move on to a transition shade. I'm using Tarte's 2015 Sephora Collection Palette in Peach on Earth. And it's a beautiful warm tone shade. And um, it's still very neutral to apply it all over your eyes. So it becomes a transition shade for cooler um, look or even for warm looks. It's perfect for both. So I love this color. And I'm sweeping on this color from the outer corners to the inner corners. Next, I'm taking the very dark navy shade. It's called Midnight Kiss. And all of the colors that I'm using from the Tarte palette are matte, okay? And I'm going to apply this to the inner corners and the outer corners and making sure that you don't touch the center part of your eyes because we're doing a halo effect. I'll be applying a lighter shade pigment on the center of my eyes to get that halo. Um, look and I love it. It opens up your eyes. It makes your eyes look more dullier. I don't know. It's it's really pretty. It suits pretty much anyone. I really don't have any crease, but it looks like I have a bigger eyes and crease whenever I do this effect. So yeah. And make sure you go back in with a pointier blending brush and blend everything out because we don't want any harsh lines here. Next, I'm going to use Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. And this is another warm tone brown. Um, and I'm going to sweep this on the edges of the Midnight Kiss color, the blue shade. This is a perfect blending shade. It's a tad bit darker than Peach on Earth, and it's going to melt those two colors together. This will make your eyes look more polished and flawless, and make sure you do a windshield wiper motion. Just go back and forth, back and forth, and after blending those colors, um, go back in with a Midnight Kiss so you can deepen up the look a little bit because we want depth we want to make sure that the outer corners and the inner corners are darker than the rest of your eyes and lastly i'm going to go over with hakodo's 5522 the biggest brush that we used on our eyes to blend everything together make sure there's no harsh lines okay next i'm going to go in with makeup geeks duochrome pigment this is kaleidoscope oh my gosh i love this color this is a perfect icy blue with four different reflex this is heaven on your eyes when i first swatched it i knew that i needed to use this for my next tutorial and here it is <laughs> i was trying to show you the different uh, colors that it shifts um but it wasn't showing up on camera how disappointing i'm sorry <laughs> but um i'm using a fix plus max fix plus and i spray that on the petri dish and i mix the two with a brush and i made a paste like substance and i apply that on my eyes and it just makes the pigment more metallic and it looks like liquid silver on your eyes it's so beautiful but it's getting weird so i'm gonna stop <laughs> anyways i'm patting this color on with the 224 I think now 242 brush from Hakodo and because this brush is kind of rounded we're going to use that rounder edge um, to our advantage and make a dome shape and we want the pigment to be most intense at the center of the eyes and then we want the outer corners to be the outer corners and inner corners to be a little bit blended and faded into the midnight kiss So continue patting the pigment on with the brush until you can't see any skin underneath. Ooh, what happened to my voice? And go back in with the blending brush. This is Hakodo's 5523 brush. I'm picking up a bit more of the Midnight Kiss color and blending the pigment and 
adding more depth to the look by doing this. I am just gently sweeping the product on. We don't want to go crazy with this because we don't want to take the pigment that we applied earlier. And I'm going back, oh my gosh, what's happening to my voice? I'm going back with the pigment and then applying some more on the center of my eyes. Now I'm going to line my eyes and I'm using Mote Liner. This is from Japan, that's why it sounds so weird. I stocked up on this eyeliner because I fell in love with it. It's so, the bristles are so soft and it's made from like natural hairs from one of the uh, top Japanese brush maker, I think. And it just gives you the most crisp, clean, liner like as you can see here i added the wing liner so my eyes look a little bit longer because everything else is pretty much rounded next we're going to smoke out our lower lash line to achieve the smoky look i applied a soft eyeliner on the bottom and the top waterline and i'm going to pick up midnight kiss again with uh hakuhodo's 171 brush and I'm going to smudge the color um, on the lower lash line. And I'm smudging the shade all over my lower lash line um, from the outer corners to the inner corners. And to blend the color a little bit beneath the lower lash line, I'm going to use the 242 brush without taking any more product. I'm just going to blend it. Um, so my eyes don't look that small, you know? If you apply, concentrate the color too much on the um, lower lash line, it's just going to make your eyes look small. So we don't want that to happen. We're going to use another duochrome shadow from Makeup Geek. This one is the pressed version. And oh my gosh, this voltage shade is life. Like when you apply it on the tear duct, oh, it's just perfect. <laughs> this opens up your eyes and it's so pretty. It's like an icy yellow cream shade with gold reflects and I love it. Now that we're done with our shadows, I'm going to apply some mascara on the top and bottom lashes. I wanted to try different mascara, so I'm using Light Camera Lashes Tarte Mascara, but they're kind of okay, it's not, they're not my favorite. And I'm using Grand Glamour Lashes from Vegas Nay. I don't know if you guys can tell by now, but those lashes are my favorite pair of lashes, and Please let me know when they're on sale on Ulta for buy one get one free because I need to stock them up. It makes my eyes look so good. Yes, I finally found my holy grail lashes. Once the glue is dry, well this is semi dry right now because I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm using the black color from the palette, it's called Black Velvet. And I'm applying that over the glue so it doesn't look shiny and we want to take the shine off so it looks all matte. It's super easy. Pick up some black eyeshadow and then pack it on the lash line with an angled brush. Now we're all done with our eyes. Yay!